everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working on the stonework for the first course of stones on this stone wall here. I can only do one course at a time because once I finish a course of stones across here, I need to let the concrete cure before I you know, put more stones on top and put weight on there. I've got one more stone to fit in place here, and this is more complicated than doing the bricks because the stones obviously have all sorts of different shapes and sizes, and it you know, takes a little bit more work to kind of get them all into place. Uh, all of the uh, stones, just like the bricks though, have been soaked and cleaned. Uh, I have these soaking out in a little kid pool outside. Uh, I chose a, a kid pool because I can lay out a bunch of stones so I can kind of see all of them if they were just, you know, in a bucket, you know, I, and I want something that's like a certain type of triangle shape or whatever, it'd be kind of hard to find it. But in a kid's pool, they're all kind of laid out and you can see the shapes. Um, this one's going to go right in this area, right here. and. Uh, I just got to get this area prepped and ready for it. Uh, the first step is just get some concrete in there. Although prior to putting the concrete in, I also prepared a lot of other supplies here. I've got bricks and uh, little bits of stone and stuff, and I'll tell you what those things are for in a little bit. But first, let's get some, some concrete up in here. What I want to do is take my... Uh, I don't know what this is called, a spade or a trowel or whatever, this triangular shaped thing. And I'm going to push the concrete up into the wire lath here. And I want to push it through so that it creates little fingers going through the lath and that it will uh, grab on the other side. I've got plastic behind here so the uh, concrete goes through, hits the plastic and then kind of deforms on the other side and ideally is kind of grabbing it itself. Now if I was going to do the whole wall all at once I could just, you know, put this uh, concrete everywhere, but I'm not, like I said, I can only do one course at a time, so I'm going to limit how much of this I spread out the wall to just the stone that I'm putting in, because when I do these areas, I want to make sure that I have fresh concrete tomorrow uh, for the stones that are going in in that area. So, pulling this through and just, again, just trying to get it to grab the, the lath in as many places as possible, because this is what is going to hold your stones up on the wall. See if I can kind of, I can kind of like mush that through a little. When you jiggle concrete, it'll make it a little more liquid. Get it pushed through there a little bit. This, this is looking pretty good. I, you know, you don't have to have the entire surface all covered. You know, that looks like a pretty good grab, and I'll be uh, uh, pouring some more in there later. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna put a little bed at the bottom here, and. Uh, when I place this in, I want it to be uh, separated up from the bottom just a little bit. Looks like it wants to be kind of like right there. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is using these little pieces of gravel as spacers. I'm going to put this one right about where the tip will be, and I'm going to place the tip right on top of that stone there. All right. I'm also noticing this this stone is thinner than uh, some of the ones next to it, so this one. This will actually need to come off the wall a little bit. Ugh, I'm getting concrete on my fingers, which is a no-no. It's not great. If you can avoid that, it's good to avoid that. Let's see. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now there's a gap in the back, and it's kind of wiggling here, and that's what I got these for. I got these little bricks, scrap bricks from outside, and I'm going to use these as that, little, little stands. Look. Uh, so I'm looking at it, it looks like it's kind of a, a smooth surface, it's a, almost an inch in the back there. And I'm just going to get what I got left of the concrete to kind of be sliding down the back. See, and you see that little jiggle, it gets the stuff moving. Whoops! It's a feather touch here, hair trigger. Right. Once I get some concrete back there, it'll support it a little bit, but for now it's just kind of falling down the back. You know what, actually, you know what would help with that is some gravel. If I can get some gravel back in there, I can drop it in and get it to just kind of, yeah, like kind of just lodge in the back there. That'll help. All right, so that's pretty much what I'm going to do. I, I'm doing this, this first course today, and then once this cures and sets up tomorrow, I'll do the next course, the next course. This will take a couple days. That's why each day I'm going to do just a little bit of this. That's it. Thanks for watching.